Well, hello everyone, and here we are in a new Minecraft series. A number of people have asked me to uh, just do a, a quick tutorial, a quick playthrough, just show what I do the first few days playing the game, how I get started, and uh, what I do to move on to the next step. So that's precisely what I'm going to do now. I'm starting on this screen so that everyone sees that I'm starting from the very beginning. I haven't edited the world, I haven't selected a number of different worlds and this is all completely above board and we'd be exactly the same sort of starting world as you guys would have when you start a game so here we go minecraft 1.8.1 single player i'm going to create a new world and i'm going to call it first few days that's i think that's what we call the series okay the series is going to be minecraft the first few days so it's a survival mode not hard code, not creative survival, and going quickly into the world options. Structures are on, so there'll be villages and dungeons. The world type is the normal world. Cheats are turned off, and the bonus chest is off. So it's a completely normal survival world. So let's create this world and make a start. Hopefully this will work. Yesterday I had so much trouble creating a new game. I ended in the end. I had to uh, delete my uh, local copy of Minecraft, download, reinstall again. So fingers crossed. Let's hope this works. Ooh, okay, so here's we should start. Oh, oh, that's that's bitter. If only I had some bones. Right, the plans. I'm going to take a moment here. This is the first day I want to get, by the end of the day, some uh, wood, some stone tools, uh, some cobblestone, and at least one torch. And bonuses are these guys here, and coal. Oh, a ca finding a cave will be good as well. So the first thing we're going to do is I am going to punch this tree, because that is what you do when you start any Minecraft game, is you punch the tree. You punch the nearest tree and you get all the lovely wood. So let's do that. There we go, all right, there's one tree. Let's grab another, another one while we're at it. Because there does appear to be plenty of them. So we'll just pick up another tree's worth of uh, wood and we'll make our first set of tools. Gonna want a bit more of this before the end of the day, so we will be coming back here or somewhere similar. Uh, but um, this will do to start off with. Okay, now um, what I want here is I'm going to turn that all into planks and make myself a crafting bench. We'll put the crafting bench down, and we shall make our very first set of tools. So. We'll need some sticks for that. I mean, this is all exactly what you'd expect it to be. So we'll have a pickaxe, and because these pigs are nearby, we'll have a sword as well. So let's get ourselves organized here and pick this up. Normally, I wouldn't make a sword at this point, but given the fact that there's pigs so far, so close nearby, who all appear to have disappeared. Don't you believe it? I don't want the dogs. They're tough and stringy and don't taste very nice. Ah, there we go. There's a pig. So we might as well take uh, advantage of this bonus. There we go. That's a bit of uh, raw pork. See if we can find another one. But what I'm really looking for now is that cobblestone over there. So we'll head in that direction. Any more pigs? There's another one. So we'll have you as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, you get to live another day. As much as I would like pork, I don't need it that much. Let's face it, it's the first first day. We're not going to be doing that much, but this is very useful to us, this uh, cobblestone here. So let's grab some cobblestone. Ooh, I think there might be a cave nearby as well by the sounds of that zombie. Which is one of our bonus items. 
So it's half of what I want. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so let's just dig a little bit this way just to see if there is a cave down there. And it doesn't appear to be, but never mind. Right. Oh, yeah. One more. There we go. Okay, so crafting the bench down again. And what we want to do is make ourselves crafting bench and crafting bench a, a furnace and uh, another set of tools so we will have stone axe to replace the wooden one and a shovel for removing earth and that will do us for now in fact given all this wood Let's take a, a couple more of those and let's make ourselves a stone axe as well. So we now have a, a, a complete basic set of equipment. And we're good to go. Now I want to find that zombie. So let's play hunt the zombie, shall we? Let's uh, have a quick dig down and see. Tricks to... Uh, caving okay as never dig up never dig straight up never dig straight down the oh that's getting very close isn't it um, if you dig straight up you're inviting something to drop onto your head if you dig straight down you're inviting the world to Um, put a cave underneath you and you plummet 50 stories to your death and that's iron so we can't do that we'll come actually no let's go again get that now we've got plenty of time still so and that's our first iron and I wasn't even counting iron as a bonus for today so that's a bonus on the bonuses and I think that is all we're going oh no there's one more it's very hard to see in this half darkness, which is the reason why my next concern now is going to be getting torches. Let's come out and have a quick look at the time. It's midday. Not look at the Enderman because we're not ready for him just yet. Um, we're still looking for a cave, so I'm not going to bother with the pursuit of coal at the moment, but I will grab some more of this stuff. And like that, like that. Let's get another tree's worth. Oh, yeah, you're back, piggy. You will be mine. Okay, there's another tree. That's uh, going to give us a bit more wood. Oh, this tree doesn't seem to want to end. There we go. There you go. Hey, you. Thank you very much. I will have that pork. That's very nice. Ow, and here's a cave. Not much of a cave. But if all else fails, that will do us this evening. But still, right. We have all we need to make torches now. So let us explore a little bit for the rest of the day. here down the other side to see what the world brings us just enjoy the world for a little bit because we are so ahead of the game right now it's silly so what do we want to do now yeah, all right, so we're still in the resource gathering mode and we've got but we've got the basics and that's all appeared quite quickly we've even got more much much more food than we need at the moment so what we're going to be looking for now is mining um, mining opportunities, um, meat gathering opportunities, and importantly here, um, we're looking for a place where we which should look nice and we have a good place to make a base. So we want something reasonably flat, near some forest, perhaps near some nice features. A place where we can set up a small house, set up a farm, and uh, ooh, we'll have them. Uh, 
Right. It's a bit of variety in the diet there. That's good. Right. In terms of uh, kills, what I would like now is um, skeletons, so we can go back and get those wolves. This place looks good. This place looks quite promising. So let's take a problem here. And as we haven't found sheep just yet, the other thing I would like um, now is spiders because string can be made into wool, wool can be made into beds, and uh, and then that everyone's happy. So how much charcoal do I want to make here? I think I want to make about half of that. So there we go. Now what's going to happen there is that first wooden block is going to make us a piece of charcoal. So we'll take that, and if we leave that to run, that's not quite going to be enough to make the next one. And that one, there we go. So we'll chuck the next one, in, that one in there, and that piece of charcoal should turn all the way to that spruce wood into charcoal. And we can use those to make torches, and we can carry on exploring. By far, this is the easiest way of making torches at the start of the game. So leave that to run, and that's illuminated this area a little bit better. So let's have a quick look down here. Yeah, this does seem to carry on. So let's get these torches made. All right, we'll just have those. Thank you. Oh. And sticks and charcoal gives us torches. And I'd like to put those there at the slot. Okay, so that's us more or less with the basics, and it's still daytime. So let's just explore down here a little bit. What we're we looking for now, we're looking for coal, and we're looking for iron, and we're looking for opportunities. Oh, and we ran out of opportunities very fast. But uh, still, this place is not bad, so we will be coming back here, I think, this evening. And we'll dig up a little bit more. So how are we doing? All right, there's our charcoal, and that was a nicely timed. So we'll stick one of those in there, and we shall cook off like that. And we should get that pork cooked, and that iron cooked, and hopefully the chicken cooked as well. But after the that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the rest of that spruce wood. So while we still have a little bit of time left, and it's only a little bit of time before it gets dark, let's grab ourselves another tree. Give us a bit of light. That's what we made them for, after all. All right, so there we go. One more tree. Excellent. We'll have that torch back because we don't quite need it there. Head back into the cave. And I think I'm going to seal this in for tonight. Okay, so there we go. Nothing can get in. We're perfectly safe and snug here for the night. And, uh, well, let's carry on doing what we're doing. Right, so that's that. We'll use the last of that to cook that chicken. And... While we're at it, let's pick this up because we're not going to need it just yet. And as soon as that chicken is cooked, oh, it's given up. Okay, so we'll pick that up and we will move a bit further down. Last thing I want to do is just drop one torch there so there's no spawning opportunities. Okay, so when it's night, it's probably going to be a bit too dangerous for us on the first day on the surface. So we're nice, but we're nicely sealed in this cave. And I'm going to make the opportunity now just to have a little tunnel around during the night. So Let's have a, a quick hunt around, see what we can find. So I want to just go on, there we go, instant cave. So this place is still paying off some more. And there we go, there's the coal we need, that's excellent. So let's grab that. And while I'm grabbing this coal, I just want to draw attention to the layout of uh, tools and items on my bar. If you look, so I've got the uh, Sword on the first slot, torches on the second slot, and pickaxe on the third slot. And the reason for that is, while caving, swords and pickaxes are the most common items you are going to use. 
So, but you also are going to regularly want to switch over to uh, torches as well, just to illuminate new areas as you move into them. So it just makes sense to me to have those items all adjacent to each other. So torches in the middle, and weapon, and pickaxe either side. And let's go and have a quick investigation show. Oh, there you are. All right, so our first combat. Zombies, it's very important not to run towards them. Let them come to you. Because they move slowly. Oh, hiding got. They move slowly and uh, they hit fast. So if you move towards them, it gives them the opportunity to hit you. If you hang back and wait, they have to slowly shuffle towards you, and that gives you plenty of time to get a swing in. Uh, there are each of the creatures in the game have a different tactic, but uh, you'll learn them quickly. They're quite easy to sort out. So right, we now have from that an iron ingot, which is a really rare pot, and two rotten flesh. Rotten flesh is food. You can use it as such, but what it does is it gives you hunger. Which this is the this is this is an interesting interesting one here. Actually, let's 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 do it because we've got plenty of food. So let's take these two for rotten flesh, and I'm just going to eat them. And as you can see there, that's actually given me two health bars. But now I have these this green particle effect coming up for me, and this green particle effect is hunger. And the effect of hunger is to make your health, your hunger bar, drop quicker. So why eat rotten flesh, apart from the uh, the fact that it's icky, icky and disgusting? Well, there are going to be situations, especially at the start of the game, when you're not going to have any food. So actually eating rotten flesh is, is going to give you an opportunity to get your hunger bar up to full, so you start healing. It means that you won't heal as long. It's just actually really poor quality food, but you're still healing. And that is the most important thing in dire circumstances. The other use of rotten flesh is trading with villagers. So let's just get rid of those. And then we shall stick in one or two of these. I just want to get rid of that. Uh, I just want to get those iron ingots cooked. And then we'll make our first iron items. While that's cooking, let's just have a, a little bit of a look down here. Oh, more iron and much more caves. So this is actually turning out to be a very good cave. So let's grab this iron. And we'll get that back into the furnace. Get that cooking straight away. Oh, just ran out. Okay, so that's given us four iron ingots. We'll stick that four in, that's going to give us eight. Let's give it a bit of charcoal now, we don't need that stuff so much. And while I'm thinking about it, let's put the food down on our bar so we can eat. And we're not ready to eat just yet because we're at full health, but fairly soon we're going to want to. Now, oh, a bit more there. I missed that. How did I miss that? Let's a quick look up here, around here. Okay, right. Stick this iron in as well. And okay, so we now have we're now getting quite a bit of iron. And we need to start making some decisions about what we're going to make. So we're gonna have what nine, ten pieces of iron tops. So now we need to decide what order are we gonna make some stuff. And actually while I'm thinking about it, that's first of all, let's just make ourselves some more torches like that. Okay. First thing to make, is it armor? No. Is it weapons? No. Is it pickaxe? No, actually it isn't. It's one of these. Make yourself a bucket. Uh, the bucket is one of the most versatile tools in the game. Um, make the bucket and just fill it with water. And uh, then if you ever uh, catch yourself on fire or uh, you need to turn, get, remove some lava or anything like that. You've got a bucket full of water, and you are relatively safe. It's 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 a um, it's an insurance policy of nothing else. So we've got four, and I, in all honesty, say the next thing you make here is a pickaxe. There's a number of reasons for this. The first one of is 
that uh, there is some stuff that you can only do with an iron pickaxe. The other one is that uh, um, iron pickaxes are a hell of a lot faster. If you've watched, for example, let me just put the iron pickaxe on the, the, the toolbar as well for a second. Okay, that is stone pickaxe that is an iron pickaxe so that's about yeah about 20 30 percent faster but when you actually come to digging through ores that can take cut an awful lot of time off okay so let's get the shovel back on there should really get rid of that wooden pickaxe perhaps i will yeah let's cook that chicken yep yeah, that'll do okay so that's got rid of the dross out of my inventory as well so I'll just leave those there for a little bit and let's do a little bit of exploring ahead see if we can find some more resources it looks like there's another cave up here so let's just explore this one quickly this one might actually go back up to the surface by the looks of it okay gravel gravel is a useful thing did you hear that that is a skeleton and that is a skeleton dying which means we're right near the surface and it's probably near dawn so let's just go up to this surface quickly there's a lot of monsters around here Stick forwards listening to them. See if we can find a way out. Perhaps we're not as close to the surface as I thought. Well, let's move on from that and carry on exploring down here. Ah, and there's our water for our bucket. Oh, didn't mean to do that meant to do that there we go right now uh, getting rid of that water means it's easier to move around here so it's easier to deal with monsters and it's exposed some uh, resources which are always good at this time of the game so let's just grab this stuff okay the, um, I thought we were close to the surface because of the sound of death Zombies and skeletons all catch fire when exposed to sunlight. But because I would, uh, it took me so long to dig up, then probably what it is is there's another cave over to that side somewhere with some lava in, and something had just walked into the lava. Because the one thing you cannot describe mobs in this game as is... Oh, it's almost digging directly up there. And that is why you never dig directly up. Yes, you can't describe the mobs in this game as clever. Um, I mean, almost brain achingly stupid is possibly a better description for them. Right, okay, that's that. Right, uh, before we move on, I want to have grab a bit of this gravel. Don't want the gravel itself, but gravel also occasionally drops flint when you buy, um, you dig it. And that piece of flint there, I can make a flint of steel with that will start fires, or with some chicken feathers and um, sticks, I can make arrows with a bow that I haven't quite got yet. So let's just grab this stuff here. Almost seen the death of my. Uh, my pickaxe here so let's just use it up on this coal we're gonna have plenty of coal and lights fires and that are now no longer really a worry for us so it's holding on this uh, pickaxe isn't it There we go, just gone. Right. So that's that area explored. We still have that area to explore, and there's loads of iron down there by the looks of it. But uh, 
this episode is reaching a close now. Let's grab one of those. We now have more than a stack of coal. That's good. Uh, okay, let's let's review here. First of all, let's put the pickaxe there. Right. We started a new world. The goal was a full set of stone tools, a furnace, and some lights. With the bonuses were coal and food and a cave. So here's our cave. Here's our coal. Here's our food. We've had a full set of stone tools and we've actually upgraded one of them to iron. So I would actually say in terms of our first day's goals, we've come out ahead of the game. So I'm going to leave it there now. And in the next episode, we shall finish moving this, going through this cave here. And then we shall move on to our next set of goals, which will involve uh, finding a, a first base, uh, getting organized and uh, doing some proper mining down at a decent level where we can get some good resources. So I hope that has been interesting. If you are a new Minecraft player, I hope this has been useful. If you are an experienced Minecraft player, hey, I haven't been playing this game for all that long. So if you've got an opinion about what my actions, if you disagree with them, if you think there's a better way of doing something, please shout out. So, right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, there's going to be a voting uh, form in the description for next week's live stream. Please make sure that you click on that and vote for what you want. I have been Simon Parsons. This has been uh, Minecraft. Thank you and good night.